museums are very important uh, in defining the history of our countries. Uh, and of course, they are part of their cultural exchange and the identity that we have. Uh, from where I'm seated, I think they, they, they are important because they highlight the importance of knowing our history. Um, they play a role in terms of nation building. International Museum Day was celebrated in countries around the world on the 18th of May 2016. Everywhere the message was the same. As the custodians of history, museums are among the most important and valuable institutions that any society can possess. The city of Johannesburg has many superb museums. Museum Africa in Newtown has been described as representing the city's soul. Here you can discover how the earliest inhabitants of the area lived and how some of them live today. This segment of an informal settlement is the genuine article transported lock, stock and barrel from its original location in Alexandra Township. From natural history to the artifacts of man, there is indeed something for everyone. Museum Africa also houses the Ben Susan Museum of Photography, where the tools by which much of modern history has been recorded are on display. Simple toys like this were the genesis of motion pictures, predecessors of the film projectors that are now themselves relics of history. A thorough exploration of Museum Africa could keep you occupied for days. Yet there is so much more. The James Hall Museum of Transport houses a fascinating collection of vehicles dating from the earliest times. Many of them, like these fire engines, are specific to the city of Johannesburg. The aims and the objectives of the James Hall Museum of Transport is to conserve and preserve these exhibits so that future generations could know about the history of land transport in the city of Johannesburg. We can teach uh, the public about the importance of heritage. Enthusiasts of military history won't be disappointed either. A visit to the Ditsung Museum of Military History will leave you in awe at the ingenuity of man in creating instruments of destruction. There are many exhibits on display which are unique to this museum. This Messerschmitt night fighter from World War II is the only one of its kind in the world. Constitution Hill is a fine example of a museum dedicated to a particular aspect of social history. There were many women activists during the apartheid era and their role in the struggle is honored in the very prison where they were incarcerated. The entire complex has been restored and the dark cells have been preserved for posterity. The Cliptown Open Air Museum at the Walter Sisulu Square in Soweto is another powerful reminder of recent history. History is continually being created and it's the museums of the world that help us keep track of where we've been and where we are going. It is part of the museums that we've built over some time post the democratic dispensation in our country. If you take, for instance, a Hector Peterson Museum, it is a museum that we've built immediately after our democratic dispensation. It plays a very significant role in terms of reconnecting with our history. Of course, historically, we, we know our history as a country, as South Africa, we are coming from a history of the past that is very painful. So it's important to balance that, uh, uh, but also to change the narrative going forward. Our history and the history of our struggle is one of the greatest resources we have. And heritage is a way in which we pass on the glories, the defeats, the, the rough journey that was that struggle.